Senate Democrats are expected to push for a ban on bump stocks after the Supreme Court ruled last week to end the Trump era ban. The Supreme Court decided that the accessory does not convert a semi-automatic rifle into a machine gun. ABC's Jay O'Brien joins me now from Capitol Hill. And, and Jay, this is a, a very important topic. What's the latest on this Democratic push to ban bump stocks. Well, it's not likely to pass, Stephanie. Uh, Democrats are going to try to put this on the Senate floor in a procedural move that's called unanimous consent. And essentially means if everybody agrees on this, we will pass it. But the issue is that there will almost certainly be at least one Republican and likely ideologically a number of Republicans who will object to this move and accuse Senate Democrats of trying to play politics with this ban and trying to use this this not only to criticize the Supreme Court, which uh, Chuck Schumer, the top Democrat in the Senate, did yesterday, but also try to jam this through and make a political point. So you can expect that while this will go to the floor, that there will be Republican objections and it's not going to pass. Now, why put this on the floor then if it's not expected to pass? Because Chuck Schumer knows that just as well as you and I do. The reality is he's looking to force Republicans to make this tough vote so that he can say Republicans are opposing what was a Trump-era policy? Remember, this ban on bump stocks came about during the Trump administration. That's what the Supreme Court struck down. So you can expect Democrats to make that point and Republicans to hit back saying that this entire thing is political. Stephanie. Lots of back and forth. The back and forth continues. And again, as you said, that uh, ban not expected to pass and get that support. Jay, thank you so much.